Hello, um, we, we, it's too hot to do anything really. Every time I go outside, I just sweat, which is gross. And so I'm inside. Obviously I'm gonna make acai, cause what else would I do? Um, I think we're going to the beach later. I'm not exactly sure. I really wanna cut my hair. I'm, what if I did that? I don't know, I don't know. I could. I absolutely do not look like I'm going to the beach. Look at my bathing suit's really cute. Got our large cooler. All of our snacks. Let's see what we have in here. Grapes. Sandwiches. Here is my breakfast today. I just wanted to share it because it's what I've been having recently and it's so good. So I have nectarines and then I have avocado toast with an egg, with two eggs that I broke the yolks accidentally and did not use a non-stick pan. So they're a little scrambled, but they're really good still. Yay. Don't believe what I tell you when I'm on my in other updates, I passed both of my AP exams, which is good. Um, yeah, there's nothing really much to say about that. Hi, so I don't know why, I just wanted to sit down and talk about some things I've been liking recently. Kind of a small haul, I guess. Um, the other day at the beach, I was like, wow, I'm wearing such a cute swimsuit, and then I didn't even show you, so I'll show you right now. It's really cute. It's white with roses, and it has these little ruffly sleeves, and it has like an underwire, and then it ties in the back. Super cute. Um, way, way back at the beginning of quarantine, I was so obsessed with lighting candles mostly because it was colder and I don't know. So I got some lighters, like back then. And I'm, I don't know if I showed them or not, but I'll show you again. This one's really cute, it has a leopard print. I've already used this one. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that. My bed is right there, like my sheets are. Um, and this one has peacock feathers. And then this one has butterfly wings. So I just thought that was cute. I haven't lit, lit? Yes, I haven't lit candles for a while. Next thing I'm going to show you, I'm so obsessed with, you've probably seen it because I use my phone to film, but it's this case from Wildflower Cases. It's so adorable. It is like this 70s flowery kind of groovy case. It kind of reminds me of Scooby-Doo and I have no idea why. I never even watched Scooby-Doo. Um, but I've always wanted to get one of their cases because they're so cute, but they're a tad expensive, at least for like the average teen, um, at least like for me, I'm saying. But then I was like, this one is so cute and I really, really want it. So I was like, let's get it. And then I found out that they were donating the proceeds from this case to the Marsha P. Johnson Institute or foundation, I forget which one, through the end of Pride Month. And that organization helps support black trans people and that just sealed the deal. I was like, this is the perfect phone case. I can feed two birds with one hand, I can donate, and I can get a cute case. So, here it is. Super cute. Next, I've really been liking reading. 
I have so many books that I want to read, but there was this one series that I started reading last year and I was like halfway through one of the books and I just got so bored and also kind of busy so I didn't really have time to read. So I started reading again and I finished that book. I'm uh, almost done with this one. This is the Throne of Glass series. Um, it's really good. They're kind of long, they're kind of lengthy because sometimes the author describes for a long time which is fine, it's very detailed, it's just, sometimes it's just a little too much, but I really like it, it has a nice storyline, it's like magical, kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but it's really thick, it's not really a beach read, I would say, like I brought it to the beach a lot and I've never read it at the beach, so. Speaking of the beach, I used to hate the beach. I used to not like the beach at all because, I don't know, just everything about it, that sounds mean. But I didn't like the sand and the ocean and the experience. I still am not really loving the ocean, but I've come to realize that I actually do like the beach and maybe I was just kidding myself because every time my favorite summer day would be going to the beach with whoever, my family or friends, and just hanging out, soaking up the sun, tanning, you know, going in the water, and then eating a good lunch at the beach, so good, and then coming home, showering, like a nice warm shower, getting into a sweatshirt and like just chilling, and then like dressing up, getting cute, going out to dinner, and that's just like my favorite summer day. So, not that that happens much because there's so many people at the beach during quarantine, it's hard to go. So I do really like the beach. The other day at the beach, I had the best time. All right, I have two last things. They're both bags that I got. I'm super excited. I'm a bag girl. I love bags, except for I don't really have places to wear them. And like the really, the ones I have my eye on are so expensive, but I like a good bag. So here is the first one. It is this olive green pouch super duper cute it is faux leather and i really really like it sorry there's something in my eye i don't know if this is offensive to say but it reminds me of the bottega pouch which is so beautiful but obviously i can't afford that gives me the same feeling and it's smaller it's kind of like a dupe i guess and it also comes well first of all i love how it opens it's just everything's out like that so you can just like see so clearly into it and it comes with a strap as well just in case you don't want to hold it like this which I feel like I wouldn't want to for anyway next purse because I talked about that one for a long time here's the next one it is so adorable it is this brown snake skin it's also faux leather so i just love it it's so structured which i really like it's just a rectangle and it has this nice little it's kind of bent but it has this nice little handle it also has a chain um a strap if you wanted it and i just think it is so cute i have no idea where i'd wear it it really gives me new york vibes um super cute I've really been wanting to go thrifting soon because that's definitely more sustainable than some of my previous choices that I've made, which I definitely regret. You see this bag right here? I really want another like cute little shoulder bag like this, but I don't really wear my sunglasses. I always lose my sunglasses and the other day I had lost a pair since the beginning of quarantine and I just found it and now I found these ones. I also am in the market for a new pair of sunglasses too because none of the sunglasses I get really like, I feel like they're not right for my face. These ones are way too huge. I, I don't know what to say about this. They're just too big. Thanks for watching. This was kind of long. Um, and now I'm going to walk my dog. Oh, something else I've been loving. Claudia 
Salusi, I feel like that's how you say her name, and Phineas's podcast. Um, they're so cute in their videos, I always watch them, but their podcast is just so entertaining and I listen to it when I walk my dog. That's it. I really, I've really been liking podcasts lately too. Okay, peace out. At the store, there's a sale on ice cream. We're going. I want to try a lot of new things. Because of COVID, all the ice cream is getting, I've been like scooping the bowls, but nobody in my family wants to try this. So I get to eat it out of the pint. Basically, I forgot to say this yesterday. Wow, it's really dark in here. I also have like all of my lights on. Is that brighter? Um, what did I forget to say? Oh, the ice cream was really good. It reminds me of something so nostalgic and I do not know what. I don't know if it reminds me of other ice creams that are like that, like non-dairy, or something from my childhood, maybe like warm milk, which sounds weird. I don't know, but it was really good. I'm excited to try different flavors. I also painted my nails. I never paint my nails this color. It is, well, it's already chipped here, but it is so, I kind of like it actually. And then I painted my toes pink, but I'm not going to show you because my method for painting my toes is just to put all the nail polish on there, put the, put it everywhere, and let the shower take care of the rest of it. So it gets pretty messy. I feel like I wanted to say something now. I have no idea, but this video is probably super long. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in my next video.